Hey everyone, this is Eric Campbell. Just another video on my making of Bloody Marilyn comic book. Last video I was talking about my issue 3, and this is it here, it's all inked. Just have to get it colored, get it all colored up. I like to shrink these down to a normal paper sides and then start ink start coloring them I don't color on this I'm trying to leave it the way it is and this here I'll give you a little idea of how I do my speech bubbles and this here is just tracing paper on it's 11 by 17 paper this is blank paper here. And I'll put my speech bubbles. I write them out on this tracing paper. Right up on my page. As you can see, it's not on the page. So it gives me a good idea where the bubbles are going to be, how big the bubbles should be, and how they'll look once I cut them out and place them on my page and I'll put this under here because I put this in the copy machine and I shrink it down to the size that I want to color it on and it will come out like this so regular standard size paper and this is what I cut out and then I just paste it onto my page after I've done coloring it don't know if anyone could follow that or understand it but you know I have my own way of doing it eventually I start doing it and getting better at it and probably find a much easier way to get it done but for right now this is how I, this is how I do it and this is more inked pages of issue 3 issue 3 is pretty much done and all I need to do is start doing issue 4 and I don't know how long is it issue is going to be because once you start writing it just seems like it's hard to stop writing so this is like my writing pad and you find yourself writing and writing and writing it's just what how I start off with my Write out it, write it out, go back, read it, cut things out, add things, constantly over reading it, reading it over and adding stuff to it. This here is actually issue four. So this would be you know, still writing it out issue four issue four i already have like a rough draft a rough draft of my writing did not rewrite it on this and that's how you can find out all your mistakes things you might want to add back onto your story and try to make sense out of it all and i do go back and read from issue one on to where i'm at for like all sounds, the story could all go into a flow. You don't want to forget what you're talking about because you can easily get lost in your own stories. So, yeah, that's one thing I do besides sitting here drawing, do a lot of writing, making comic books. It's not an easy task once you get into it. 
And the scary thing about it, if people start liking your books, and you don't want to disappoint your fans, <coughs> you have to stay on top of your game. You have to keep coming back, writing, drawing, writing, drawing. <laughs> and it'll really show you if you really want to be a comic book artist. Because it's not, not easy. It's just time consuming. And you have to be, you know, willing to, to draw. Okay. So, this is my organized mess I have here. terrible. I have to clean up most of my pens I use. And this here <coughs> is what I use for my lettering. We get more into that later another time. And I go through how I use this thing. And it's a funny thing is they it's hard to find them because they don't really sell these anymore. You have to go online or try to find a place to actually sell these because everyone write online now. You know, do your word bubbles on a computer. I'm not a computer person, so. That's one thing I'm going to start learning how to do. But for right now, I'll stick to what I know. And that's everything for right now. Talk to y'all later. And peace out.